Hello there. Today I'm going to be making a shellac barn out of wood for my horses. I've seen this requested a lot on my other videos so I just thought you know what let's do it. So jumping straight on in before I recorded this video I'd done lots of google searches into actual horse stables and designs like that to try and inspire me to make this barn different from my others. Then I put all my ideas onto a bit of paper and finally I narrowed it down to the design I'm drawing here which is going to be the official like plan if you like and it's going to have all the measurements on so when I go to cut out my bits of wood I um, know everything's going to fit together perfectly. Right, we're going to cut ahead just a little bit as this does take quite a while. All righty then. So a couple of minutes later, I'd worked out the dimensions for my barn and lots of bits inside of it, considering how much wood I had and things like that. And now here, I'm working out the width of the staircase by taking my bigger shellac person and uh, measuring a good distance either side of it. For the front door, I used exactly the same method, except I used my biggest horse and my biggest person next to each other so that a horse and person can easily fit in side by side. Then I went ahead and drew up a store to the exact dimensions because I wanted to double check that it wasn't going to be too big or too small for a horse. Then finally I'd completely finished my design and it was time to head on outside to the garage. Welcome to the outside workstation. The first thing you're going to want to do is work out what wood uh, you're going to be using. So we're using plywood for the sides because it's nice quality wood and it's nice and thin and light. And then for the floor we're just going to be using some cheaper scrap wood that we had because it doesn't need to be as nice of a quality as the side stuff because you're just not going to see it. Then you can go ahead and measure up the different pieces of wood you're going to cut out. I try and do it as sparingly as possible so we don't waste any wood. Now was the really really fun part where I got to use the jigsaw to cut out the different bits of wood. Honestly my hand went so tingly after using it, it was because it vibrated so much but it was so funny I couldn't feel my hand. <laughs> Then it really was just repeating the same process, so drawing up and then cutting out the pieces and drawing on the wood and cutting out the pieces. <laughs> then some more drawing, followed by cutting, and then of course drawing, and finally some cutting again. Hi there, welcome back, it's the next day. We managed to cut out all of the bits of wood yesterday. So we're gonna start today by drilling holes so we can get the jigsaw in uh, to cut out uh, the stable doors and windows. Now this part of it was really important in my design. As the stable was gonna have an upstairs, I wanted it to be light at the same time. I didn't want it to be dark and you know no light to be able to reach the back of it. So this was really important to get right. And also you didn't want to drill too close to the edge, otherwise the corners might become rounded and you know it'd be a bit of a disaster. Then once we drilled holes in two corners, we were able to get the jigsaw into the middle and cut out the doors from the inside of the wall. So here we are, the first cut is done, and here is the finished wall, which is very exciting, it looks brilliant. Then I went ahead and quickly sanded down where we cut inside the door frame because it was quite sharp and it would stop my horses from scratching if they hit the edge or something. Then there was just one wall left that we needed to alter, so we drew in two windows and a door. Then surprisingly we drilled through them and used it to cut them out. Oh my goodness, it is finally time to attach all the sides and the base together. I've kind of just got it leaning on each other right now so you can see what it's going to look like. Okay, so now we're screwing in the sides. This is the first screw. It's a special moment. <laughs> I love how I'm just stood here filming while my dad's doing the work at this point. Quite funny. 
And it's the big reveal. Everything's joined together now at this point. Personally, I think Summer's just loving her job. She just gets to stand there. I think she likes the new stables. Oh, and here's where I try to do some professional filming. Just got my shadow in there. Never mind. And finally, the very last thing that we had to do was cut some supports for the upstairs floor to rest on. Please ignore my terrible sawing at this point. Honestly, the saw was so flimsy and the wood was too. And it was, it's a lot harder than it looks. I'm just saying. Hang on. Wait there. Satisfying moment coming up. Oh my goodness, I loved that. One more time. Why is that so satisfying to watch? Okay, moving on. Now we're trying to make sure the floor is even before we mark where the supports are going to go. And here, we're just pushing the nails into the bit of wood before we start hammering it onto the side. And I've actually just noticed my finger creeping into the side of the frame. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Literally. I don't even remember saying that at the time. All bad puns aside though, this barn is completely finished. The building element is done. So I'm going to take it on inside to have a closer look. Okay, here is the new stable. Oh my goodness, I just love it so much. I think it looks awesome, especially with the upstairs. Because that's something unique to this barn. I've never done that before with any of my other... DIY barns. Ah, oh, I cannot wait to decorate the inside. So definitely look out for that video because there's definitely going to be a part two to this. The big stall doors in the back are going to work perfectly to make sure it doesn't get too dark in. It's letting a ton of light through. And I love how you can just lift out the upstairs floor so you can get into the back really easily. I also love how it's got two doors. So the main front one, but also this kind of sneaky back one, which is quite cool. And I think the windows here on the same wall are a really nice feature. Perfect for donkeys to look out of. Well, almost perfect. <laughs> well, it's perfect for Jack the Welsh Pony, but <laughs> look how cute they look. That is actually adorable. <laughs> I've had so much fun making this barn and doing this video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss part two where I decorate the entire inside of the barn. I can't wait to see you then. Have a great day, you guys. Bye!